Hi folks, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This is episode 24 of the Beginner's Guide 2023 series, and in the last episode we went and fought the Undead Dragon, and whilst down there we learned the Dragonbone Armour. Now this is an epic set of armour, it's only available in epic quality, and it led me to think, hang on, we haven't learned epic armour for ourselves yet. So in this episode, we're going to start moving into the epic tier, and we're going to look at epic armour and epic weapons. And to help us with that, we're going to follow the two journey steps that comes along with that. So if we take a look at the journey guide, because we've completed armourer and expert armourer, that unlocks master armourer. And the really nice thing about that is the reward for completing that is perfected exiled armour. Now, they are like the base game light, medium and heavy armours, but they're massively improved. So there are some really good sets of armour there. They, they look exactly the same as the original armour, but they've got much better stats, so it's definitely worth getting. So to complete that, we have to complete the Master Armourer journey step to, to learn all that. And there is also an equivalent in the blacksmithing. Once you've done blacksmith, steelsmith, hardened steelsmith, you then have warsmith. And uh, that goes more to do with the weapons and the blacksmith station. Although weirdly, it does have epic armour in there. So we can't make all the sets with this because we'll also have to use this to, to learn a set. And that gives us the grindstone, which is a really useful bit of kit for repairing items. So uh, hopefully we'll go through the two of them today and we'll get everything we need. So first of all, Master Armourer. Let's switch to that journey. And it's straight away filled in the unlock the fluid press knowledge because we've learned that already. So the next thing we have to do is access the fluid press again. So the fluid press is through in the other room. Let's run through. There it is. Access it. And that's done. Next we have to say, let me see. Use the fluid press to obtain oil. So this is all about obtaining oil. We actually have a better way of obtaining oil, but we have to go through that for the journey anyway. So the way it really wants us to get oil, it, say, it actually says by placing fish or seeds in the fluid press, you will gain oil. So you need a lot of seeds to get oil, but fish is also... so. Fish traps, they're available in a, let me see, attrib no, knowledge, survival, a, where are they? Under, they're under the cooking bit, so there we go, fisher. That allows you to make trophies, but also have the fish trap and the shellfish trap. It's a couple of bits of shaped wood and some bits of twine. Stick them in the water with some handfuls of insects that you get from the, the um, tufts of... Uh, what's that called? Plants? Fibre? Uh, I find if you hit it with an axe, it gives you the most, there we go, handful of insects. You don't get any fibre from it, but you get more insects from it. Stick them in there and it'll slowly catch fish. If we grab, let's just grab a stack of fish. Um, the, the bit, so what we've got, unappetizing fish, savoury fish and exotic fish, kind of in that order. And you'll get the, the higher up the level of fish, the more oil you'll get per fish. But we just want to grab any old fish at the moment, that'll do. You'd have to go through quite a lot of fish to get oil, but we'll stick that in the fluid press. Uh, so if we put 50 unappetizing fish in there, it's going to give us 5 oil. So it's 10 unappetizing fish per oil. So let's let it make one oil. Okay, so you actually have to take it out there and go, there we go, we've used the fluid press. Unlock the Grandmaster Knowledge. Have we missed a step? No, nope, that's what the next thing is. So let me see, Knowledge, Armour, and then here's the Grandmaster Armour, but as you can see it's red, because we have prerequisites, and that is Star Metal Tools. So back to Survival, Star Metal Tools, that needs hardened... Okay, we've got that, learned that. Back to armor, armor smith. Now you can see there's two benches. You can, this is like the top level armor benches, the campaign armor. And it says an armor bench designed to reduce the time it takes to craft armor. So your armor, because 
Epic armor takes a long time to craft, especially compared to basic armor, but that'll make it faster. Garrison armor bench reduces the cost of making armor. So the materials, which are expensive materials at the top end, that means you'll need less materials to, to make them. So that's the one we want. We're not fussed over time. But if you are, campaign. You might want to have both, one of each, so you can choose. But we want the garrison armor. Okay, so let's see. We're going to need our construction hammer. Uh, I've lost it. There it is. 5F crafting stations and so where is it oh that's a casting table that's not what we want did we not learn it or is it under carpentry no where is it let me check again did we learn it uh, knowledge armor we didn't oh. We looked at it and we never clicked the unlock button. There we go, we've unlocked it now. Now if we go in here, let me see, campaign. Where is it? Garrison armor or bench. So we need 200 hardened brick, 100 insulated wood, 100 steel reinforcements and 100 thick leather to make that. So, 200 hardened steel bricks. Uh, yep, we've kind of got that. Uh, 100 insulated wood, we've got that as well. Uh, 100 steel reinforcements. Ooh, we're starting to get a bit low on that. Let's just make so... Because we've got the... Uh, well, tier 3 or higher blacksmith will allow you to have reinforced and make these from one iron reinforcement and one steel fire. So we've got loads of iron reinforcement. Let's grab 500 steel fire. Be really heavy. Put that in there. And say, go and craft us 500 more of them. Thank you very much. Uh, right, what else did we need? We needed a hundred thick leather. So we should have loads of that in our tannery. Uh, we need a hundred of that. There we go. Right. Now this is a big bench. Uh, I'm going to actually have to reorganize this room to make this fit in a bit better. Let's see if we can just get it to place for now. That'll do. I'll I'll maybe shift these boxes and slot it in, maybe move these round a bit and make it fit in a little bit. But it's very L-shaped as well, so not really designed for a round room. It's more designed for a square room, but never mind. Uh, right. Well, what does it say? Craft a piece of epic armor. Right, so the next issue we have is if we look in here... So, if, for example, we go to Dragon, there is the bits of dragon bone armor that we learned from the, the sinkhole that last time. So there is Void Forge Dragon, which is heavy. There is Void Fo Forge Dragon Bone, which is medium. And then there's Void Forge Dragon Hide, which is the light armor. But all these pieces need perfected paddings. So if we look at the heavy stuff, so we're looking, we're not looking for this armor for ourselves. we're kind of looking for it for our, our uh, fighter friends. So we're going to go for the heavy armor here, but um, heavy, perfected heavy paddings are required for each one. And if we look at perfected, uh, oh, we haven't learned that yet. Tab. Uh, knowledge armor so we need to learn epic armors and that gives us the epic versions of the the basic armor but also hardened leather perfected light medium heavy padding um layered silk layered fur all these high-end materials that we'll need to craft stuff so we need to learn that so unlock that now if we look in here and look at perfected so there is the heavy. So you can see here that it needs 21 hardened leather, 7 elephant hide, and 3 twine. Now, this is, remember, the bench that reduces the cost massively. So the normal cost of a perfected heavy padding would require 42 hardened leather. So it's halved it. It would need 14 elephant hide, and it would need 7 
twine, so the twine's cheap. But this bench is basically half the cost of that item from its normal. Even the improved bench that we have here also reduces the cost, so we can craft it in here as well. So if we look at the perfected there, you can see it's 31 there, so that's kind of taken a quarter of it away. So instead of 42, it's 31. Instead of um, 14, it's 10. And then we've got hide. So that's still cheaper, but our bench over there is much cheaper. But we're going to need a load of hardened leather. Now we have, we've picked up a few from mobs and we've also dismantled a lot of that, a lot of the armor that we picked up of mobs I was showing you in the dismantling bench. I took a whole pile of the armor out here, dismantled it and that gave us some hardened leather. So we've got 78, but we're going to need, um, oh, probably about 200 to make one set of heavy for a thrall and a set of medium for myself. So we're going to need a whole bunch. So to make hardened leather, this is also expensive. It needs a ton of leather, a ton of thick hide, uh, thick leather, sorry. So that's easy. We've got loads of that. Alchemical base and oil. And we're going to need five oil and two alchemical base each. So we've also picked up some alchemical base. We've got 474. Um, you can craft it. Let me quickly show you how to craft it. That's done in the cauldron here. So alchemical base requires a silver dust, a gold dust, and an ichor. So you could either get dust or grind bars. Each bar will give you 60 of these each. And then one of them, so 60, one bar will give you 60 dust, which will give you 60 alchemical base. So you can easy grind it, chop up the bits. But this is the age of war. We're gathering treasure. I don't want to waste my gold and silver on making alchemical base. So the other great way of getting it is to kill bearer threes, level three bearers, the ones with the backpacks. They will drop their backpack and bearer threes have got a good chance of getting uh, alchemical base from their backpacks. So right outside our door, if we go, let me show you here. So here we'll go across this little land bridge. We'll come down across the land bridge or across the water. And this entrance here into Sepa Maru, this is the bad quarter in here. So you go through the gate um, and like you've got the, the bad guys down here. But just walking about here is always a, a bearer. So I've farmed that bearer spot quite a few times until I got a bearer three. The other good place is to go over here to the den. Um, if you remember in my Let's Play 3.0 series, my big storm glass tower base was just here in front of the, the water and the rhino. But if you go in here, going in this entrance here, there's a bearer there, there's another one here, another one over here. So there's a few bearers in the den. So I've, I've been over there and I've been over here and I managed to get, if I open my inventory, I got three bearer threes. I mean, a lot of them are lower level bearers, but I got three. Let's throw that away, down there. So let's open these supply materials and see what we get. So open the first one. We got bear pelt and wood, so that's not great. Second one, 500 alchemical base, 500 crystal, 500 bark. Third one, 750 alchemical base. So there we go, 1,250 without the three packs. So we've just got a load of alchemical base, so that's awesome. Right, let me go and dump a lot of this stuff. Let's put the wood into here. Uh, put the wood in there and say, go and make that into shaped wood. Just 162. Uh, what else did we get? Crystal. Let's put the crystal in here. And say, make that into, we can make that into glass. And then we'll go through. Slowly, because we're so overburdened. Alright, let's just drop drop the chemical base into there but we'll need we'll need to take a stack of that let's put the bear pelt in the tanner and get that tanning right so we've got all chemical base we're going to need thick leather uh, and the last thing we need is oil so we make it in the tanner put that in there in fact we might actually grab 
grab you just to make it faster. This is just still a Nordheimer 1. I'll put the tier 4 one in there and hopefully she'll just craft it quicker. Right, we we'll also need oil. So, like, yes, you can squeeze fish and seeds to make oil, but we've got the al alchemist. If you've got an alchemist 3 or higher, you have this oil recipe that allows you to use ichor and bark and turn that. I think one ichor, one bark makes five oil. Uh, so we've got 135. Let's just make one just to make sure. Craft. Yes, it makes five. So let's just let's just turn that into a factory and make a ton of oil. Uh, there we go. Right, and if we stick the oil in here, we're going to need a lot more than that because you need five oil. We can start crafting uh, uh, hardened leather. So there we go. We're going to need a need a bunch of that. So we'll need to get that going. We'll need the oil for that. But we needed to make perfected padding. So if I bring up perfected padding again, we'll see that heavy perfected padding will need at least five of that just to make one set of armor. And that needs the hardened leather and it needs elephant hide as well as the twine. We've got thousands of twine. That's not a problem. We're making that. We need to get elephant hide. The medium padding for us needs rhino hide. So 14 hardened leather, seven rhino hide and three twine. So we're going to have to go and get ourselves some elephant hide and some rhino hide. So obviously there's elephant, uh, there's rhinos out here by the jawbone, right, or rhino horn ridge here, uh, outside Setmaru. There's also more rhinos up here. But if we go across all the way over here to the savanna, particularly around this area here, there are both elephants and rhinos in the same place. So we're going to head over there now while the, the stuff is crafting up and uh, we're going to grab ourselves some elephant hide and I don't think we've got any uh, is that bear hide? oh we never press play craft more of that stuff up um, did we have any we've got a little bit of rhino hide but yeah we don't have any elephant hide so we're going to have to go and grab that so I'm going to fill up on oil here so we've got enough to keep us going craft another 55 what's that doing that's gonna be a hundred and something yeah so i'll wait here until that oil's finished i'll get it cooking up and then i'll meet you back when we're over at the the savannah and we'll, we'll get some elephants okay see you very soon Okay, we're just coming out into the savannah now. You can see we've come up the path from the river and we're coming into the savannah here. Up that up that path. And here we go, savannah, where we've got oh, rhinos all over the place, tigers, and you can see in the distance some elephants. So let's uh oh, the tiger beat the rhino. So let's uh go off the horse. And let's get... Oh, we've got a skinning knife out already. Let's start skinning the rhino. So we get a mixture of thick hide and rhino hide. And I'll say some flesh as well. There's another rhino. Let's take this one out. Come on then, charge at me. God, take you. There you go, it's down already. 7,000 XP from the rhinos. That's not bad. I've taken Delincia with me. She's at 19 now, so she's got just well, still still quite a lot of XP to get to the the 1.07 million XP that she needs. Um, let's take another one out. Oh, wrong button. That one. That's a hundred. Oh, watch what you're doing. Two stacks of bleed from, from that. Right, we don't have to worry too much about rhinos because obviously we've got rhinos right next to our base, but this is a nice place because it's got both the things that you want right beside each other. Right, let's take down an elephant. Don't actually think these are elephants because they've got four tusks. Oh, there's a tiger coming in for the, the fight. Oh, you're coming for me. That's okay. I don't mind that. There we go. We don't need feeling. 
Yeah, see they've got two big tusks and then two normal sized tusks. But they're classed as elephants in the game. Uh, we're getting thick hide and I don't think we've got any elephant hide there at all. Right. Tusks can go, horns can go, thick hide, rhino hide. No elephant hide. Right, we're super heavy now. One horse, come over here. You need to come here. You need to carry this for me. Mm. Got a charge. Missed. Too slow. There. It's when we do their up on their hind legs AOE thing. But he didn't get a chance to do it. Right, can I get some elephant hide this time, please? There we go, we've got some. So that's 74. Again, you can carry that. On daylight. Uh, there's another one there. Oh, there's a baby elephant as well. Two baby elephants. Alright, you get that one. I'll grab that. That one there. That one's running away. Got to watch out for Thunderfoot here, the big three skull. He's super nasty. So much HP and so much armor that it can take ages to get him down. Right, how much is that? 152. Right, I'll probably just grab some more while we're up here. Let's find some more elephants, uh, and then I'll I'll meet you back at the base when we're when we're ready to to go. Okay, see you in a bit. Right, we have made it back, and we got 482 elephant hide and 228 rhino hide, so that's not a bad haul. So let's throw that in there. Let's grab, so we've managed to craft up 200 and, well, we, we had some 70 odd, but we've managed to get another 200 plus hardened leather, and we're also going to need some twine, so let's just take a stack of twine. Oh, twine's heavy. Right, throw that in there. Right, so, we have to craft a epic piece of armour. So... We're only going to do one at the moment, because we want to save some of it. Uh, nope, that's not how you spell. Right, we're going to do... Let's do the heavy set first. So, 21 hardened leather. Uh, we probably won't make much difference, but we can now take our tier 4 armourer. Fortunately, we, we've only got the... We don't have a shield right, which will give us more uh, armor. Uh, but never mind. It's, this will certainly make it. It'll give it more armor, but not as much as we could possibly get. So let's put her in there, which will also speed things up a little bit as well, I believe. Right, let's try again. Perfected. So perfected heavy armor. Let's craft one, two. Let's. We'll only do. We'll only do one. We'll do one at a time. See, it takes quite a while to, to craft that. Everything's a lot slower when it gets to epic level. There we go. Right, so we want to make... Let me see, the heavy dragon bone helm. So it's that one. Heavy armor. So it needs another 10 hardened leather to craft this as well. Making it even more expensive. And 5 dragon bone. Dragon bone's not a problem. We have hundreds of dragon bone. Okay, let's put that in there too. Right, let's try that again. Dragon bone armor. So, that one. So it should have, by default, without any other additions from the, the, the armorer, it should have 240 armor. So let's 
craft one of them and the accountant guy's text will go out of the way you can see it's it's going up pretty slowly but that will get there in a second there we go we have crafted an epic piece of armor and it came out with 288 armor so we've got an extra 48 over the top of standard so it's still pretty good and i believe that should be 20 health so it's come out at 28 health so much better uh, i forget what that hammer makes it maybe makes it more durable i think that's what that means but if it's not i'll put it on the screen right now Right, so what do we need to do? We need to wear a piece of epic armor, so that's easy enough to do. We just put that on, and we've completed the Master Armorer journey step. There's the helmet. Looks pretty... Oh, can we zoom in on it? Look at that. So it's actually like stretched skin of the dragon with the horns of the dragon over the top of like a, a metal helmet. Lovely. Lovely, very nice. Right, um, let's take that helmet off again. And let's claim that journey step. So claim reward will give us the perfected exiled armor. So if we look for that in here. There you go. So you can see it's the, the usual the heavy armor set that you normally get. The, the light armor set that you normally get. And the medium set. But much better much better armor on it and better stats like the bonus stats instead of just being that by default it's all carry weight so i think it's like agility weapons and um uh strength weapons and stuff like that on on the various parts but i'll i'll make a set uh afterwards and of each and we can we can have a look at it okay uh of course it needs perfected paddings and the layered silk for the light it needs Oh, look at that. Steel reinforcements, hardened steel bars, and a perfected padding for the heavy. And where's the medium? It needs hardened leather, iron bars, and medium pa perfected medium paddings for the... It's still quite expensive to make, but uh, it's, a, it's a decent set. It's a good set of stuff. Right, that is the armor one done. So now let's move to the blacksmith one, which is warsmith. So let's switch journey to that. Um, and the first thing it says is unlock the Grandmaster Blacksmith knowledge. So that's under here, and then we'll go to weapons. Oh no, is that maybe under survival, is it? Yes, Grandmaster Blacksmith, here we go. Same again, campaign bench that reduces the time, and garrison bench that reduces the cost. Again, we're going to go for the garrison option, but if time is more of an issue for yourself, go for campaign, or have both. Right, there we go. Uh, access or place a blacksmith station. Right, so what does that require? Let's have a look. So, campaign garrison blacksmith bench. So it needs 200 hardened brick, 100 insulating wood, 100 steel reinforcements, which is the same as the armor one, but instead of the thick leather, it needs hardened steel bars. Okay, let's go grab that stuff oh we've got to we'll have to find a space for this as well uh, yeah i'm gonna to have to do some reorganizing right so a hundred of this uh, need to get rid of all that meat let me just run downstairs and chuck that in the campfire and get cooked up there we go throw that in there and cook right so we need 200 hardened steel, hardened steel, hardened brick, 100 of that, 100 steel reinforcements, you still crafting that, you are, 100 of them, and then 100 hardened steel bars. Alright, let's find a space, but we'll just stick it right here for now, and again, I'll worry about it later on. So, Garrison Blacksmith Bench reduces the cost, Campaign reduces the speed, so Garrison it is. Uh, again, it's very much, it's got to block the door, so let's move it over a bit. Very much based for a corner. 
huge bench. What's that taking up? Basically taking up a two by two, two square. We'll need our... Uh, we want the guy that does the most damage with the, the little dagger there. Let's stick him in. Okay. Right, what does it want to say now? Modify an epic mech. I think we've jumped a few steps. So craft an epic weapon. So we must have crafted one already in the past. Hmm, have we? Interesting. Modify. Maybe more epic weapons, maybe modify. Do we actually have an epic weapon? What have we crafted that's an epic weapon? I can't think of making an epic weapon. Yes, yes, the books are balanced. Some what would that have been? Anyway, I want to make one of the dragon weapons, so let's just have a look and see. In here, dragon. What have we got? An axe, we've got a maul. We don't have a... there's not a one-handed axe, there's a two-handed sword. There's 42 damage, not brilliant. Spear, one-handed sword, a javelin, the daggers. Daggers are 25. A throwing axe, the two-handed sword. Dragon Ball War up 36. That's 53, so the, yeah, these are... These are worse than I remember them. I remember them be better than this. Okay, right. Let's just craft one. We'll make the we'll make the axe just for the for the hell of it. It's quite quite a cool looking axe. So it needs a weapon handle. Let's just check. We have learned that first. So we need to learn epic weapons. So any of the epic weapons will teach you also how to make so that. A star metal sword and the weapon handle, and then you can learn other things after that. Um, the shield will teach you the shield frame to make the epic shields. The two-handed weapons will teach you a star metal greatsword and the weapon handle. The greater specialist weapons epic, which is the skirmisher, star metal daggers, and uh, a weapon handle. Maybe might make star metal daggers, aren't they? Uh, bows teaches you how you need a sturdy string, so that's how you make the bows. And well, knight is the jouster, so lance cores for making that. There we go. So any of these will do. Let's let's learn the daggers. That'll teach us the handle. Any of those will do to make the handle, and that's made in the carpenter's bench. But weapon handles are something that drops. All of this. So we've got weapon handle, string, and shield frames. That uh, there's even more sturdy string. These are all things that drop off of mobs and out of chests all the time now with the updated loot in chapter two. So we've actually got three weapon handles, but we can craft them. It only needs one insulated wood and eleven normal leather, so we can craft them really cheaply. But we've got some already, so let's just go and we'll need some bone as well. Um, can't remember how many bone with it. Was it five? Of course, we've got massively reduced. We'll have half the cost. So, dragon. Oh, we also need a horn. Oh, do we have any horns? Uh, no, it'll be in here. Oh, we've got 27. Definitely don't want to use them all, because we'll need some of them for sorcery. So this doesn't actually need any metal. It doesn't need any star metal or anything like that. It just wants dragon bone. Which kind of makes sense, because they are made out of bone. Right, so we will have to modify. We know we're going to have to modify it, because that's the next step after we've crafted one. Um, so let's... Not sure whether it'll need extra damage or whether it needs extra armor pen, but we'll just make a damage kit. Oh, that needs 15 oil. Do I have any oil left or have I made all my oil into hardened leather? Nope, I've still got oil left. That's good. So let's put that in there and let's just craft up advanced weapon kit just to modify it. 
Uh, what other ones we've got? Prying kits, advanced reinforcement, uh, armor, flexibility. So nothing really useful. Come on. There we go. Oh, it's only halfway there. Okay, I'll bring you back when that's crafted. See you soon. Almost there. There we go. Crafted. So it ended up with 44 dam. Oh, it's got zero armor pen on it. So an armor pen kit would have been useful. But they take that, drop it on there. We've modified an epic weapon. Okay. So then, I don't know why this is. Why you want this. Because you're in the blacksmith thing, but craft a piece of epic armor. So now we have to make another piece of epic armor. So let's go, and this time we'll make we'll make one piece for ourselves. So I want medium armor, so we'll need a perfected medium padding. Okay, right. So let's just make a perf an epic version of the hyena armor that we are wearing right now. So there is the hyena chest, so it needs layered fur. So layered fur is made in here, and unsurprisingly it's made with fur and alchemical base. But we've got some, I uh, can't remember what it said, how much did it say we needed? Let me just check that again. Check that in there. Hyena. It needed 10, and it just needs iron bars, so we should have thousands of iron bars. Uh, we go. Let's just take half of that. And did I not pick up? It looks like I didn't. Not in there. In there. Try again. Half. There we go. That's better. Click the right button. Throw that in there. Hyena. Craft a chess piece. But we can always add more. Okay, almost done. So as you can see, the default one should be 140 armor. We've crafted it and it's come out with 184 armor. And again, instead of plus 20 health, it's got plus 28. So last thing we need to do is wear it. So let's swap out our existing piece that has 111 armor. With this piece, it's got 184. There we go. Massive difference. And we've completed that journey step. And we can claim the reward, which is the, the grindstone. Okay, so... Where is the grindstone? And what does it need? Uh, cooking, alchemy, carpentry, smithing. I don't see it. Unless, is that a decoration? Interesting. Knowledge. Search. Grindstone. Oh, it's crafted at the artisan table, not with the hammer. Aha! Right, artisan table. Grindstone. So it needs 75 stone, 10 insulated wood, 10 steel bars. You don't have any stone. We don't have any stone. Okay, let me just go and grab that and I'll be back very, very shortly. Okay, we've got the materials now, so let's craft that up. Go 75, 10 insulated wood, 10 steel bars, craft. Now, I believe these things are fueled by oil. So let's grab some oil. Uh, Stick that on a bar. Let's just throw it down. Down there. It's actually the same wheel as that one there, but that's a part, just a decorative part of the dismantling bench. Uh, I don't know how much oil it'll need. Let's take 50. 
And this should repair our item. So like our items are actually okay at the moment. So we put the oil in there. Uh, that just tells you about oil. Repairing lock, return inventory, dismantle, interact. Cancel, move, placeable. Okay, um, let's see. That's not really like that. Okay, we've got some damage to your hardened steel knife. Uh, Do we do? No. Uh, e. Ah, here we go. E and the knife has now back to full durability again. So because it's an item we know how to repair, it's went all the way back without having the durability loss. Like like when we use the the repair kit on our shield, it, it had this red piece of durability loss. But it's something we know how to repair. So I guess we could use that by chucking it in there and repairing it in there We're using hardened steel. But that uses, well, I'd use two oil to repair, to repair the tools. So a nice, a nice little item. Right, okay. I am going to go and make the rest of these two sets of armor, which will take a little while to, to make. So I will bring you back when it's completed. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, we're ready to go. So I've put all my bog standard normal hyena armor on again. It was made with a tier four, which did make it better, uh, but it's currently 467 armor. So that's the, the, normal, the normal pieces. If I then swap all those out for the epic pieces, 676 armor. Uh, the bonuses I think are the same, so follow damage or six because of seven. Yeah, so they are the same, so it's just the armor level that's went up. Uh, so yeah, we've got much better protection now. So I'll have to get the die sets out and die this up. It's back to the, the standard brown. But yeah, it looks exactly the same, just higher, higher armor value. Uh, it probably has some more... Let me just check. So with this on, let me go to my stats. I'm inside. Inside is no use. I need to go outside because I'm getting my house buff. Let's run outside so we're not getting the house buff anymore. And let's check our stats. So we've got five bars of cold resistance and three in heat resistance. If I sw swap back to the normal... There we go, and then look at the stats. It's got two and two, so it that does actually have better weather resistance to to a, an extent. Uh, but yeah, so what was it, the higher one? Yeah, so one a little bit better heat resistance, but quite a bit. We've got three more bars of cold resistance, so we're going up north. It gives us more protection. So that's that's an other advantage of the armor set. Most epic armors will give you more heat and cold, so that, that can't stay there, banging into that as I come in the door. I'll have to do some movement. Right, so Delincia is already wearing a full epic set. She's wearing the epic Cimmerian steel that we got from Drops. So she's already got heavy armor that's epic, and it's 1,128 uh, armor value, so it's excellent so far. But let's swap her to the dragon armor, Voidforge Dragon armor, uh, and that's went up to 1,569, so much higher armor. Helmet has got health, the chest has got strength weapon damage of plus 8%, the, the wrists, the gloves have got health, extra 48. Stamina plus 12, that's useless for a, a thrall, thralls don't use stamina, so those leggings are no use as a bonus set. Still got lots of armor, 360 armor. And the boots is plus 28 health. So a couple of pieces of health, three pieces of health and one pieces of weapon damage. And it looks really cool. I, I like to dye it because I don't like the brown kind of leather suit underneath. But the, the skin stretched over the bone and teeth and ribs and whatnot just makes it look really, really cool. I do like it. But we now have the option. We can start mixing and match armor sets. 
So we can take the chest piece that has a 8% strength weapon damage and we can mix that with other pieces from other sets that also give strength damage or we can take the the helmet and the the gloves and the gloves particularly 48 health we can take that and mix that with these sets so we're, obviously we're not getting extra bonus because these are borrowed instead of crafted we can learn the recipe now and we can craft our own epic armor and get a foot better health set but we can mix and match them if they look a bit silly because they're different sets we can just use the illusion system in the uh, the thermaturgy bench this illusion system to make them look like whatever we want so we can start decking out our our fighters in armor that gives them a much better bonus uh, both in armor value and in the stats as well and uh, mix and match them if we so want but that's going to be it for today we have learned how to we've done the journey step for the epic armorer the master armorer learn the perfected armors as well uh, I'll, I'll have to make myself a set of each of them to check them out so we'll, i'll show you them in the next episode uh, then we did the same with the blacksmith journey so we've got all the the epic weapons that we can make now and uh, we can start really pushing on and getting better gear for both ourselves and our fighters and we can then start taking on the harder dungeons but that's got to do it for today Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you like this video, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.